Waka Flocka Flame isn't known as one of rap's greatest, but he is certainly known for his big mouth and his controversial views. Today we'll be discussing some of his cringiest moments that have left people wondering, what the heck is wrong with this ninja? But before we jump into it, girl the way you eating, got me in a trance, DJ turn me up, ladies this your jam, I'ma eat these peanuts and you gon' lose them pants, then I'ma throw this jerky while you do it with no hands. Don't forget to scoop up something to munch on at rrgsnacks.com, our online concession stand that has an assortment of applewood smoked bacon jerky, freeze-dried goodies, and floor. butter toffee peanuts. I love the way you eat them snacks. Hey, get it, get it, get it. During a 2015 appearance on The Breakfast Club, Waka said gender roles were twisted. Women afraid to be a wife and then young males is afraid to be men. He also took issue with Bruce Jenner coming out as transgender and changing her name to Caitlyn. And I ain't say nothing against like a, a Bruce Jenner. You are who you are when God made you, not who you became after he did. He went on to say that people like Caitlyn were rebuking God, and he warned that Caitlyn's transition was the devil playing tricks on her mind. Once the interview went viral, people called him homophobic, and Walker took to his Twitter to state he had nothing against transgender people, but he was just trying to protect the youth from people who market transgenders like superheroes. He also repeatedly tweeted that he had nothing against the gay community. I do think it's pretty heroic to uh, come out as you are and as you feel you are in a community and a society that would try to keep you in a box. I think that is pretty heroic. Many people saw his attempt to retract his statements as nothing more than a political move, since Waka had stated his intent to run for president. He later found out he wasn't even eligible to run for the position, since the U.S. Constitution requires a president to be 35 or older, and Waka was only 29 at the time. Ninja, learn the law first. <laughs> Wonka appeared on Sway in the Morning in 2017, and issues affecting the black community were brought up. Walker's response was, When it comes to uh, talking about African Americans, I have no education with that, period. Mm -hmm. I don't, I, I, I don't, I'm not even connecting to that no more. Ninja, it sounds like you ain't got no education at all, <laughs> period. He went on to say he wasn't connected to being black because it's a system, and his family isn't from Africa. My grandma, like, yo, grandma, what's your background? She like, red foot and um, black tail Indian. Black tail? Ain't that the name of one of them smutty big booty magazines? You're right, Auntie Regina. Black Tail is the name of a magazine from back in the day that featured beautiful black women busting that thing wide open. And after doing our research on the federally recognized tribes in the U.S., we discovered that the Black Tail tribe doesn't exist. So what you're saying is Walker is full of shit. Is that what you're trying to say? <laughs> now what about the red foot? Because he said red foot and black tail. So does red foot exist? Or was it red foot people with black tails? I'm just, I'm asking for a friend. <laughs> no, auntie. Red foot tribe isn't listed on the federal list either. Yeah. Fix it, black Jesus. Lee. This ninja trying so hard not to be black, he done made up two tribes. <laughs> <laughs> Wonka went on to say the other side of his family was European, Dominican, and Cherokee Indian. Well, he finally got one tribe, right? <laughs> because of his racial makeup, Wonka explained that he identified as other. He added, I'm uneducated, I'm confused, but I'm damn sure not black. You're not going to call me black. I'm connected to a tribe, not a country. I ain't speaking nothing negative over Wonka life, but you know, every time somebody say they ain't black, they get in some black ass trouble and then be wanting black folk to bail them out. So I'm just hoping this ain't the case with his black ass. <laughs> People were shocked that a man who clearly looked black, rapped about black culture, used the N-word, and wore his hair in an ancient African hairstyle, better known as locks, didn't consider himself black. Waka doubled down on his statement in a since-deleted Instagram video that he captioned, I stand on my words, I'm not black. I told y'all from the beginning of my rap career. I'm black, you know what I'm saying? But I ain't the black American side of him. Get the fuck out the matrix, y'all. As you can imagine, Wonka got called every name in the book, from a dummy to a delusional Negro. <laughs> Ahead of the 2016 presidential election, Wonka posted on Twitter, I can't wait to see the day America gets a real black president because Obama don't count. Black Twitter quickly jumped on him for his ignorance. They tried to school him that even though Barack Obama has a Kenyan father and a white mother, he has always identified himself as black rather than biracial. 
Walker attempted to walk back his statement on social media by writing that he clearly loved Obama. He explained, When I stated that I can't wait until we get a real black president, I meant a black president who is accepted by all who just happens to be black. He typed a bunch more nonsense, and one social media user put it wonderfully by saying, This made absolutely no sense. Just stop. Sit your ass down, Walker. Back in 2015, Walker took to his Twitter to write, Donald J. Trump. He also made statements claiming he would never vote for Trump. Later on, during an interview on Sirius XM, Walker said, I'm not voting for Donald Trump because he's for money. In a time like this, we need somebody that's for the people, and Trump is definitely not for the people. And then, during a 2017 concert in Athens, Georgia, he noticed a fan holding up a Trump jersey. Walker instructed the concert goer to throw the jersey onto the stage, and then Walker pulled down his pants and wiped his bare ass with the jersey. Yeah. <laughs> this ninja crazy as hell. Good move, though. Good move. <laughs> but things apparently changed for him after he was presented with a Lifetime Achievement Award, which Trump's administration signed into action. Ahead of the 2020 presidential election, a clip of Barack Obama endorsing Joe Biden made the rounds online. In response to the endorsement, a Twitter user wrote that there were actually people who actually thought Trump was better than Barack. They ended their tweet with a clown emoji. Walker responded, Guess I'm a clown. Putting his personal and political beliefs on a public platform put a target on his back. One social media user called him dumb, while another person said, How about Waka go cheat on his wife Tammy and leave politics to professionals? Yeah. Tammy said, now why am I in it? Me. So no one was surprised when, in 2020, Waka accused the media of being a propaganda tool during that year's presidential election. In since-deleted Instagram posts, he wrote, The way the media spin in this election is disgusting and disrespectful to the people. In a separate post, he urged American media outlets to stick to the truth no matter how the public feels. By that point, Trump hadn't even officially lost the election since the polls were still open and votes were being counted. Given how he was in his feelings, people started to wonder if Walker was one of them folks that stormed the Capitol. Walker, where were you on January 6th? <laughs> Inquiring minds want to know. And then an interview Walker conducted with Million Dollars Worth of Game podcast went viral. In a clip, Walker explained how Trump taught him how to avoid paying taxes. You get a C-Corp to run an LLC, and you'll make it even deeper, go get a trust fund and run a corp that runs the LLC. Donald Trump actually showed me that method. That's how he didn't pay tax. This ninja dumb as hell. So he trying to go to jail with Donnie? Is that what you're trying to say? By 2023, he was loud and proud with his endorsement of Trump. Some social media users accused Walker of doing anything for clout, and they called him a stupid clown for supporting the political candidate. All of the backlash hasn't stopped Walker from voicing his political beliefs beliefs. During a July 2024 concert in Utah, Utah, he instructed all of Joe Biden's supporters to leave the venue. Social media dragged Walker for turning his concert into a MAGA rally and for alienating one half of his fan base. While chatting with This Is 50 in 2017, Walker blamed old school rap for new school rap's problems. Walker went on to accuse the elders of not putting youngins up on game on the business side of the music industry. He said the vets slacked, which caused a snowball effect. This didn't sit well with legendary artist Pete Rock. In a since-deleted Instagram post, Pete called Walker disrespectful and told him he couldn't measure up to old-school accomplishments. Pete went on to tell Walker that he and the younger generation weren't a part of any Hall of Fame or museums because they never had respect from the start. Walker retweeted the post and called it lame and uncalled for. He ended his message by telling Pete, I should slap the shit out of you. One thing about Walker, he's always going to speak his mind unapologetically. But the real question is, is he out of line or is he just misunderstood? Let us know your thoughts down below. And thanks for watching RRG.